Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space 2! Last time we left off, we managed to find ourselves back on board the Ishimura and uh, here we are in the med bay with all kinds of smears all over the place, which I assume is blood but it's been sort of tinted an ultraviolet colour so that the blood appears in a blue luminescent blue colour basically masking what it is like earlier in the ship they would put sort of sheeting and tape all over the blood there over here they seem to have changed it into uh, a blue looking slime or something anyway just off camera I uh, <coughs> did a couple of things first of all I I did one thing actually <laughs> I, I came to the shop and I changed my suit if you notice, he looks a little bit different now. He's got a new suit on. Now, it's not a suit with more than 15 slots. There is one suit with 20 slots, but that is uh, 40,000 credits, so hmm, a little bit pricey. So I'll cope with 15 slots for now. But this suit that I've got is the medical suit. I don't know what the official title is. Forged engineer, I think it's a forged engineer suit. One of the free suits that I downloaded as part of the game package, and it offers a 15% health increase bonus to med pack use. Now, considering I'm using a hell of a lot of med packs, I think that might be quite a handy thing to have. So yeah, I've changed to this suit. Uh, so that's about it. So without further ado, I think we better press on with our mission. Now, what are we supposed to be doing? We're going to the bridge deck. To fire up the gravity tethers to assist us some way because the tram is missing a track <laughs> after Tideman uh, hit it with a pulse beam or something like that. Yeah. I've got a good, I've got a quiet confidence about today's session. I'm feeling in the mood to, to play this. A little bit better than the last couple of times. I hopefully won't die. I hopefully won't die as much. Hopefully won't be, you know, blundering through here. I will act. Entering zero gravity. Oh. I will act skillful and look, look like I'll know what I'm doing. Although I probably won't know what I'm doing. In fact, I know I won't know what I'm doing. Why is there zero gravity here? Isaac, she may not break you, but she might break me with her incessant chitter chatter. I wish she'd shut the hell up. I'm trying to concentrate. <sighs> yeah, another thing is, uh, as I collect this here, my aim for today is not to use med packs by mistake. That is my aim for today. If I achieve that in this session, I don't care if I die 15 times, I'll consider it a success. As we float off into the ether. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yes, yesterday I managed to finish Mass Effect. Finish playing it. Obviously, there's a few parts to upload, but I finished actually finished playing the game. So there's actually no immediate rush for me to finish Dead Space 2 now, because I assumed I would finish playing Dead Space 2 first. But I finished Mass Effect because it was near the end of the game. And as soon as you get into the end game phase, it starts to get you know action packed, and therefore I just couldn't stop playing, I couldn't put the pad down, so I just played through to a finish. I loved every minute of it, so now that I've finished playing Mass Effect, my new LP that starts... I'm out of here. I'm there. Get the hell out! Oh, false energy. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I hear monsters, but I can't see them. Ah, oh, there you go. Now I can see you. Hello! 
Yeah, you like that, you little blighter? You like that? I do. What was I say? Yeah, so because I finished Mass Effect, my new LP, which is starting in the end of August, I can uh, start it without finishing Dead Space and still only be playing four LPs or playing four games at a time. So I may resort back to doing one chapter at a time for Dead Space because doing two chapters is a bit of a lottery. Because if the chapters are long enough, Ah! Woohoo! Let me get to the ground! Whoa! whoa. Okay, let's, let's... Whoa! Get me out of here! Get me out! I'm getting hit! Come on! Come on! <laughs> what did I say about playing this game skillfully? Not a chance. For God's sake! <laughs> Run! What the hell? Where are they all coming from? Am I safe in here? You little cow! Move! Where's the other one? I can't see him. Oh, he's all the way over there. You little idiot. Yeah. Now stop your damn noise. You silly creatures. Whew. Keep losing my train of thought. I keep getting interrupted. Yeah, so, uh, what was this? Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a lottery playing two types at a time because. Uh, Depending on how long the chapters are, you can end up playing this for about an hour and a half, which, you know, when you're getting constantly killed and attacked at every corner, and you're on edge all the time, an hour and a half is a long time. <laughs> so I'll revert back to probably doing it a chapter at a time. Exiting zero gravity. Which isn't bad, because I will, I'm currently on chapter 10. I will finish off chapter 10 today, and then start chapter 11, and probably finish chapter 11. So it'd be like doing one and a half chapters. Because if you notice it at the end of the last part, this is a back, this is a flashback. <sighs> at the end of the last part, we ended quite a uh, set of updates. We ended, uh, ended quite abruptly. I didn't plan to end the LP there, but uh, it's the situation dictated that I had to end it there. So I didn't actually finish chapter ten. Seeing lots of those little blights. Oh, I remember this part. This was uh, quite an intense bit. What the hell is that? No, 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 no. Not today, Sonny Jim. Who's this? Ah, hello. That's Right. You don't want a piece of me now, do you? Oh, hear it scream. Don't fish. Why isn't stasis working? I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing X instead of Y. Get a grip. Going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up. Huh? Oh, my God. What the hell are these? You alive? Come here. Oh, I was close. Woo. 
What the hell's going on around here? Are you kidding me? What is going on? Wait a minute. What's in here? Bit of a respite, I think. I bloody need it. Audio log. Allison Landers, this is Brandon Laruch. Thank you for identifying Ishimura archive footage and rig logs that could potentially contradict the official storyline of its demise at Aegis 7. It is critical that no word of the artifact's recovery ever be surfaced to the public. It is disturbing that such records still exist this many years after the incident. We have locked out your research team's access, and will be replacing them with EarthGov specialists effective immediately. Please contact me once the replacements arrive. Did he say years after the incident? Hmm, how many years exactly have passed since the first one? <laughs> Right, we have how many? Two nodes? What was I upgrading? I was upgrading the javelin gun, I think. Yeah. Bit of speed. Capacity of the line gun could do with a bit of a boost. There we go. Alright. I don't like that clattering sound. Who goes there? Oh! Oh! oh what a terrible shot! I'm cornered. I'm surrounded. Help me! You piece of crap! Ah! Pressing the wrong buttons. I'm ready to reload. Woo! Crack shot! Quick draw McGraw! Eventually. Third time of asking. Oh my god. Where's he gone now? Where did this guy go? He's got some of my stuff that I need to collect. Still hearing sounds of banging here. <laughs> oh, look at that outside. Ah! Ah, get away from me! Ah! Run away from those little bleeders. Nest to activate the tethers. All right. The centrifuge will explode to full power from here. Great. Let's hope this works. It'll be tight. You ready? All set. I'll wait for your signal. Somehow, I don't think it's gonna be a straightforward process. Captain's Nest. Let me sit on this lovely chair. It's a Survey the situation. Yes, that looks fine. 